Lesson number 21, Exercises in Trial Balance. Hello guys, kumusta mga kaibigan? In this lesson, we are going to prepare a trial balance. To prepare the trial balance, we need the ledgers. The balances of each ledger should be updated. This is the trial balance of Pamintuan's Consulting Services. The trial balance contains a heading. The heading contains the business name. In this example, we have Pamintuan's Consulting Services. Then the name of the report, trial balance. The date, as of March 31, 2017. The trial balance contains the account code, all the account titles, then the debit column, and the credit column. To complete our trial balance, we need the balance of each account. Where can we get the balance of each account? Yes, correct. From their respective ledgers. Let us start with the cash ledger. As of March 31, the balance of the cash ledger is 173,800 pesos debit. We write the corresponding balance of the cash ledger in our trial balance which is 173,800 debit. Okay, next account. Accounts receivable has a debit balance of 55,000 pesos. We write the corresponding balance of the accounts receivable account in our trial balance under the debit column, 55,000 pesos. Office supplies has a debit balance of 3,200 pesos. We write the corresponding balance of office supplies, 3,200 pesos, debit. Next account is prepaid rent. As of March 31, this account has a debit balance of 15,000 pesos. We write the corresponding balance of the prepaid rent account under the debit column, 15,000 pesos. Office equipment, has a debit balance of 25,000 pesos. We write the corresponding balance of the office equipment account under the debit column, 25,000 pesos. Next account, furniture and fixtures. As of March 31, this account has a debit balance of 20,000 pesos. We write the corresponding balance of the furniture and fixtures account under the debit column, 20,000 pesos. Accounts payable has a credit balance of 25,000 pesos. We write the balance of accounts payable, 25,000 pesos credit. Utilities payable ledger has a credit balance of 1,000 pesos. We write the corresponding balance of utilities payable, 1,000 pesos credit. As of March 31, an earned revenue has a credit balance of 40,000 pesos. We write the balance of an earned revenue, 40,000 pesos credit. Pamintuan Capital has a credit balance of 100,000 pesos. We write the corresponding balance of Pamintuan Capital, 100,000 pesos credit. Pamintuan Withdrawals has a debit balance of 2,000 pesos. We write Pamintuan Withdrawals balance, 2,000 pesos debit. Consulting Revenue has a credit balance of 143,000 pesos. We write the balance of consulting revenue, 143,000 pesos credit. Salaries expense has a debit balance of 4,000 pesos. We write the balance of salaries expense, 4,000 pesos debit. As of March 31, utilities expense has a debit balance of 1,300 pesos. We write the corresponding balance of utilities expense in our trial balance, 1,300 pesos debit. Traveling expense has a debit balance of 3,200 pesos. We write the balance of traveling expense, 3,200 pesos debit. Taxes and licenses has a debit balance of 3,500 pesos. We write its balance in our trial balance, 3,500 pesos debit. Advertising expense has a debit balance of 3,000 pesos. 
we write the balance of advertising expense, 3,000 pesos debit. What do you notice about the total debits and total credits in our trial balance? Yes, they are equal. The total debits and the total credits in a trial balance should always be equal.